Alright, this is Blender 2.82 tutorial. We're going to start off real quickly by uh, going into our shader editor, and then we are going to go to the world tab, and then we're going to go ahead and go to texture, noise texture, then we're going to get a converter, a color ramp. We're going to notch this up to about 650, 700. Connect these together. If you don't have Node Wrangler installed, you need to go ahead and get that, and then hit Control T here. Then go to Object and connect it to Vector. Then go here and size this up to 256. Then what you should see is a starry background. Now controlling this will change the amount of stars in the sky, and if it goes all the way down, it'll just look like white noise. All right, go ahead and put that back. And then we can go into our other mode and then we can go ahead and get a monkey head. The reason that we use a monkey head is because of the variation in the size of the mesh. And then you want to go ahead and enable self-fracture in your add-ons then you can self-fracture the mesh. This might take just a second for anybody. Then you can go ahead and delete any outliers such as this one and then delete the original model. Then you can go ahead and grab it, turn on proportional editing size it up a little bit if it's needed then go ahead and extrude or actually just move it outward in different directions just to give it a bit of a randomness look make sure you can't tell that it's a monkey head because that would that would make it totally pointless but then what you're going to want to do is you're going to go ahead and spawn in a uh, point light probably two of them to get the best look don't accidentally go to the wrong tab go ahead and get the the point light, probably duplicate it. Of course, this is completely up to you at this point. Set it to somewhere around 1500. Give it some colors of your choice. I personally, I just like any colors, so I'm gonna go with blue and orange. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and hit zero and go to camera view. Now, this is pretty good, but if you hit shift grade, you'll be able to control the camera by walking around, which is how I like to position my cameras. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this over here, take a look at how it looks in rendered mode. I might want to... Actually, you know what? No, I think that looks pretty good. Now, I quite like going into freestyle to give it a self-shaded look in the render, and then you can go ahead and hit render image, and you should see the render results after the freestyle stroke is rendered. Looks pretty sweet, and that's how we do it. Thank you for watching.